to the hey, Mr. Tim Sarnaru. Um, I'm um, um, doing this video for my video friend my Pepper Sun, I believe. Son, I believe. But, anyways, but anyways, um, yeah, sorry, there shouldn't be an echo anymore. Um, but yeah, this is a uh, video on how to get your games to work with um, Pinnacle Game Profiler, PGP for short. So, say you have a uh, 360 or a Xbone or even a. Uh, say a oh, shit. Sorry. Yeah, a PS3 controller. Sorry. Anyways, um, yeah, so say you have one of those controllers and it doesn't work with the game. And you're like, damn it, I want this to work with the game. Gotham City Imposters would be a perfect example, but it's not the one I'm going to use. I'm going to use the one that my friend could not get working. So, with that being said, I have downloaded a wonderful torrent, and I will re-upload this to Mega and Mediafire as usual. But, uh, for illustrative purposes, let me go to my Timothy Thomas, that's me, go to my downloads, and Pinnacle Game Profiler 9.0.0. 0.333 build 8.1.3 plus crack and as you can see there is a link to app wikia the website that this had originally came from as well as go digi life.com for software updates but we're not going to worry about that right now let's just go in here and we're going to open up instructions and these instructions are for after keyword after you um, you install it so right now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to Windows R or you could also just hit the start button and type in ncpa.cpl right click your network disable it don't do this if you're on a phone call but because it's offline recording it won't really matter as you can see my network is now disconnected my Skype is offline and so is my steam so with that being said now we have our instructions so keep the internet disconnected and so what we're gonna do is right click the pinnacle setup and go to properties and um, it'll say that it's blocked you click unblock click apply click OK and then you'd also um, want to right click run as administrator and it'll come up here in a second with the install once this is finished be sure to uncheck launch and uncheck register because you don't want to do either of those you can put it in the default one it doesn't matter just click next uh, and don't load this at the windows startup make sure that's unchecked click next um, next install and um, it, also has a readme in the app wikia but we're just going to use these instructions in the instructions there's an exe there's a serial dot text <laughs> and there's also the registry file but don't open or fuck with or use any of those yet until it's done installing <laughs> so uncheck launch make sure this is unchecked and click finish and then, um, sorry if it sounds like I'm being a jackass, but I'm just trying to make sure that you guys follow the steps properly. So with that being said, we're going to go to Start, and go to Control Panel, and go to... What is the thing when you... Oh, Windows Firewall. Okay. And in case you guys are wondering how I got this fancy, you know, thing with my Windows 8, it was very easy. I just had to install Classic Shell. Um, you can get it from classicshell.net and and it even has an option of changing the Windows logo to a shell logo and then if you go to the top right or top left you have search share start devices settings and it also shows the time 1016 May 18th no network connection and this is also where you go to uh, settings or devices you can go to networks and connect to Wi-Fi so if you have a Windows 8 desktop or laptop, that's how you connect to Wi-Fi. You can't use the built-in Windows one for whatever reason. Windows overrides it. Anyways, with that being said, um, we're going to click Advanced Settings on the firewall. 
we're going to go to outbound connections. Again, we don't want this thing calling home, so to speak. So we're going to click new. Oh, sorry. We're going to click new rule. Program. Click next. Program path. Click browse. We're going to go to C. Program files. X86. It's 1015. It's now 1017. So this is where it installed to. Go by date modified. Power up software. Pinnacle game profiler and we're wanting the pinnacle and also the pinnacle updater but you can only do one at a time so we'll do pinnacle first click next click um, block the connection click next next name it pinnacle dot exe and then we're also going to create a new rule uh, program click next program path browse click pinnacle updater click open click next make sure it's on block click next next name it pinnacle underscore doesn't really matter what you name it updater dot exe I always name it after the exe that way it makes it easier to find it in case I screw it up and also we're gonna go to inbound rules to make sure it doesn't talk to the computer itself as well so we're gonna go to new rule program we're gonna browse Pinnacle first as usual, click next, click block, make sure it's on block, click next, next, pinnacle, dot exe, enter for finish, and then we'll go do a second rule for the pinnacle updater, program, click browse, updater, open, next, block, make sure it's selected block, click next, next, and name it pinnacle, underscore updater dot exe it might be updater updater I'm not really sure it doesn't matter that if it's exact but anyways <laughs> we're gonna close out of this now that we've followed the step one which is to disconnect and or to block the main executable from firewall step two is to replace the cracked exe so we're gonna go to our crack folder that's what she said <laughs> No, I hope not. Um, anyways, we're going to copy these two files, copy, and we're going to go to this PC, also known as computer in Windows 7. Go to C, go to Program Files x86, go to, oh, I'm sorry, it's Program Files without that 86. Uh, darn it, where did it go? Oh, okay, x86, and then go to Date Modified, Power Up, Pinnacle Game Profiler, paste it in here, click Replace, click um, Do This for All Current Items, click Continue. Again, I can't completely disable my uh, <clears throat> my administrator prompting because I have Windows 8 that will screw up all the apps if I put them all to zero. So with that being said, I've now copied over the EXE. I have um, copied over the registry. Don't open this yet. And I've blocked both of these EX la, 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 these EXEs from opening. So it says launch the program after the configuration wa la, 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 la. wizard is set up. Press F4 to bring up the license activation window. And step three is to register using the information from serial.txt. So we're going to do that. We're going to right click pinnacle run as administrator it's probably going to give you some stupid error about it not being connected don't worry about that because as you can see I have manually disabled it's pretty much the same thing as pulling the plug from the wall except it's a lot easier to re get it working again or to you know I don't know what that sound was oh here we go the controller mad Cat's gamepad that is my 360 controller as you can see it has detected all the correct buttons click next click yes refer to as Mad Cat's 360 Pro use as expected to work best for the device yes I want to use my default image guide click next joy one
okay so it seems that all these things are working we're gonna click next blah 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 click finish um, we're gonna click don't show this and we're gonna click OK it's gonna tell you one or more controllers have been detected it's recommended that you run Pinnacle Updater Pro we're gonna click don't suggest and click no excuse me it says the dot pin is not currently set you're gonna click don't ask and click yes would you like to automatically create to control windows itself click yes click um, enable background profile recommended for HTPC the hell's that no other game <laughs> um, hyper threaded PC or maybe it's uh, anyways we're gonna disable the background profile because we you can always enable it from the preferences window anyways um, yeah so what we're going to do now that this is open, we're going to go back to this, uh, the instructions. Okay, hit F4 and register using the uh, information. So we're going to hit F4 on the keyboard. We're going to hit enter key. And be sure that you copy these exact or it's not going to work. Quinton space quarter, C-O-R-D-E-R. And um, control V for paste. If for some reason it doesn't paste, then you will have to type it out in caps. Q U I N T A N space C O R D E R. The password, be sure to turn off caps lock. R A G Z Z Z 51181. And the unlock key, as you can see, it's over here. It and be sure to turn your caps on again. G I N L W tab R nine N I tab again D I P seven N tab N three S N oh I'm sorry, I always screwed that one up. N three S N tab N 9 L H Y and so this is correct now be sure for the thing make it a yellow pineapple so we're gonna do pineapple we're gonna change this to yellow and um, we need these five points checked you do them in order C4 C you find the C here and the four here and then you get where they meet and check it it's like a game of battleship essentially C4 you sunk my battleship uh, G6, so as you can see, G6, <clears throat> G8, again, go over 2 to the 8, there we go, uh, H2, and H3, and we are good to go, from here you just click OK, it'll say verifying, thank you, it's now registered, it'll take effect next time it started just click OK click close click uh, close click don't show click OK and uh, okay so what we need to do is we need to restart pinnacle game profiler and we need to register or merge the registry um, <laughs> so right click and we need to shut down profiler, click don't show, click yes. Again, you know, yada yada yada. Um, if you hold down shift and right click the, the pinnacle game, go to open file, location. Be sure to right click on PGP data, go to edit, make sure everything's okay. Oh, uh, in the top drawer. Thank you. First run and leave it. Oh. <laughs> And leave this um, as is for $19.99. This is fine. So we will cl close out of this. And then we're going to right click, merge, click yes, click OK. And then we're going to right click on Pinnacle and run as administrator. And it will do its thing, so to speak. And 
and so now if you go on um, you can now connect to the internet be sure not to download any updates for this software or for any controllers because this is the most up-to-date version and as you can see the little P's down here and it's here as well for Pinnacle Game Profiler we have the controller already set up the configuration already set up so what we need to do is close out of this hit Windows R type in ncpa.cpl again you can also do this from your from your start where you can search um, right click enable the internet and this is a request video so if you guys ever need some help getting some software working for free or you know even some freeware software to get it working I can help with that as well um, so go back to your little window thing your browser I mean and then from here um, we are going to go to pinnacle GameProfiler.com. I think that's the website. Yep, it sure is. And my friend was wanting a profile for what is that thing called? These nuts? No, just kidding. Um, unturned. I thought it was Unreal Tournament. I'm like, no, that's not right. It's Unturned. So scroll down until you see Unturned. As you can see, Unturned is on here, as are almost all games. And since you already have the software, don't click this. Click Download Profile instead. And this is the setup for the uh, for any game controller, including the PS2, PS3, 360, Xbox One, PS4, all the agenda, all that jazz. On you know, sh ugh, sorry for that sound effect. Um, and then this thing right here shows your your movement and stuff so click download profile and then double click it mm -hmm. it's gonna say do you want to import and I'll be like hell yeah bitches and so mm -hmm. uh, oh, and so now we have to find the imports and and figure out where the unturned.exe is so let's go to this PC I believe it's in my D drive under Steam library but I could be mistaken. Unturned. Maybe it's under games. <laughs> could be anywhere on this hard drive. <laughs> That's what she said. Um, it might be under program files. Or it could also be under x86 not seeing it here but it might also be on my J drive which is my old D drive I believe or my old F drive anyways we're gonna go to games look for unturned 3.9.80 that's the most recent that I've downloaded I'm not sure if it's the most recent that's out anyways as you can see my language is English John 2s that's not my steam this is my steam 317 money bags also known as mister tim tom naru control s to save close anyways um, what we're mainly looking for is this exe so um, we're gonna click browse here and we're gonna go to this pc go to or also known as computer on windows 7 or my computer on windows xp god damn that was loud um, you're looking for wherever you installed the game so for example in my computer it's games and unturned 3.9.80 and here's the exe open click OK and that's some more <laughs> click imports click OK and as you can see if you double click the config it shows my controller which is a pretty accurate representation of the white version of this controller although this is the black version but it still works just as well so anyways these are the things that are already configured if you hold the right joystick button as voice chat left joystick button which would be L3 is crouch crawl and apparently you hold to toggle so you have to hold the joystick on left L3 to toggle. Uh, start is the. Oh, okay, it's the HUD. 
that's the start button right here. Player list is back, which is also known as select on some game systems. Uh, lean right is right shoulder. Lean left is left shoulder. Inventory is Y, which is the top yellow button. X is reload. B is interact. A is jump. Um, the guide button doesn't serve as anything besides checking your batteries. Um, uh, D-pad down is attachments. D-pad up is emote. Um, D-pad right is equip item 1 through 4. And D-pad left is fire mode, switching between... For example, like uh, automatic and manual, or not, I'm sorry, not automatic, man. automatic and semi automatic, and vice versa. Um, movement was with the left joystick, you map to the WASD keys. Right joystick is mapped to the mouse for looking around while you're moving. Um, left trigger is aim, right trigger is fire. So this is already perfectly set up for the game, so we're just going to click. Um, close on this and then we're going to click OK and we're going to double click on Unturned and it will launch the game. You can print this if you so desire although you do not need to. You can just click close mm -hmm. and click um, I normally use the advanced mouse smoothing but you could do whatever. Click OK. Click Don't Prompt. OK. Modify the native uh, games hook. Oh, the required game hook is not yet installed. DirectX override feature may not be compatible with some games. If you find these games not working, would you like to install the game hook for this profile now? Yes. Okay, so now it's installing the game hook and doing the damn thing, so to speak. And it looks like it's in windowed mode, so you guys should be able to see this. Do -do 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 and uh, not sure if it's loading oh okay it is loading that's the loading bar in the bottom running quite slow as usual this game is actually a slow ass game I mean it's fast in multiplayer but you get what I'm saying so anyways we'll wait for this to load in the meantime I'm going to alt tab out to the uh, what's it called to the OBS and make sure it's recording and it is so that's a plus and we're going to hit settings or I'm sorry right click add game capture and call this unturned click OK uh, here's unturned stretch image more aspect. Uh -huh. click OK and as you can see the game is here welcome to unturned you can use your right uh, joystick to do the mouse. Left joystick is WASD. So if you click on this, it'll give you a report on recent updates. You have died zero times. That's because I haven't played this game. Configuration, we're going to click right uh, trigger to do this. For FXAA, I always turn this on. Motion blur, leave that off. It'll fuck with stuff, so to speak. SSAO on or off? I think it looks better off. Sun shafts off. Bloom on, of course. Clouds, terrain. Draw distance 50%. Level of detail that we're going to put to medium. There's really no noticeable difference that I'm noticing between medium and high. Foliage density is going to be low. Shadow resolution low. Water quality low. Scope resolution high. High. How you doing? How you doing? No, just kidding. Camera, okay, let's go back to configuration. And as you can see, there's controls, there's display. Here in the display, you can choose your resolution. Excuse me. You can make it full screen, for example. You can go to options, opciones. And we, of course, or I, of course, would prefer the FPS debug information to be on there. And I don't want a profanity filter because that's kind of annoying to be honest. And then um, we should be good to play. Let's just click uh, play. And we're going to PEI. This is the only one that I have. We'll do single player. Uh, click play. 
as you can see the frames are in the top left corner and click n normal we're going to change this to easy and click play if you play as gold it's a, a vac insecure lulls and it's okay to cheat on a vac insecure server especially if you're playing offline because nobody would ever know um, but when you get the gold edition of this game you unlock the gold difficulty level which more or less is kind of like I believe it's kind of like god mode if I'm not mistaken oh shit 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 sorry language had to get out of here get over here so please excuse my ignorance or ignorance but I have not played this game before so it seems the controls are working pretty well I'm hitting A, I don't know if that's sprinting, I don't know what these buttons do okay so right does work with the voice left toggles crouch and untoggles crouch Let, lean left, lean right, okay aim, fire and of course if you don't have an item in either hand it will um excuse me it will um it will punch with the opposite hand so i just punched that rock and it didn't really do anything i'm going to try to punch this tree and see what happens That's what she said. Okay, it's not really doing anything but increasing my or decreasing my energy level. Apparently, the dark wood doesn't do anything either. That's what she said. Um, what the hell was that? I don't know. This is a blank sign, okay. And yet another blank sign. Here's a light post, which doesn't currently have any light on it. Need to get to town, darn it. Come on. Why is the inventory? Okay. Okay, let's run, run, run. Jump, 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 bitches. And as you can see, the energy slowly builds itself back up. Don't jump too much or your energy shall be diminished. Now here's some people. It lo they look like zombies. Oh, shit, zombie! Speak of the devil. Plus four experience. Um, he, he dropped a rope. Can I F? I don't know. Okay, the B button is, is pick up. Apparently, if you're using a controller. Lord have mercy. God damn, these zombies are tough. Sorry about the language, guys. I should try to sneak in here without that guy noticing. What's this? Pick up chocolate bar. Again, the B button picks it up, and the A button. I'm sorry. Y button goes to inventory. Again, we can't do anything with rope or chocolate. Okay, the right button eats the chocolate, so we just healed ourselves. Just a little bit. Here's a sink. What's this? A pick up a carrot? Sure, why not? Hit the B button to pick up the carrot, and again, we're going to um, go to inventory. Okay, I guess we'll use this carrot to stab something if we have to. Pick up lettuce. Eat the carrot. Nom, nom, nom. We've got to patch up these windows. These broken windows are not doing this place justice. Here's a bed. Can we sleep? No, it doesn't look like it. What the heck is this? Headphones? Hell yeah, bitches! Oh, okay, I was crouched, that's why.
As you can see, I currently have an orange parka on and I'm carrying a, a red shirt or plaid shirt, so to speak. We need to board up this house. Bird up the house. It's kind of getting a little burring in here. Is that a pistol? Hell yeah, a Colt. Does it have bullets? Or does it like the Indianapolis Colts firing blanks? No, I'm just kidding. Anyways, we'll throw this on the ground. Or hit the right button. Or right. I think left puts it in inventory and right uses the item. Again, we're going to try to. Excuse me, to toggle out of this and see if we can get in bed. Again, if you hit select, there's me, Mr. Tim Tom Nario. I don't know, is that the symbol? Alberton Confederation Bridge. More or less, I'm just trying to keep this running for at least 15 minutes to see if um, if the 15-minute trial is still active in this um, unturned. Is still active in this uh, version hey, of the boy, game. The demo yet for uh, Witcher uh, Three? Witcher Three? No. It comes out uh, midnight, so I'll probably have the game then. I mean, I have the game, but it's not working until midnight. Yeah, that's fine. Cool, I just bloodified the street. Let's see if we can find anything useful in this little playground. Again, A is to jump. And it's very similar controls on the X-Bone and or the uh, PS4. Oh shit, look at all these people. Okay, cool. I just got a Colt magazine. Now I have a thing for my, uh, for my gun. So, I'm sorry. Start. That doesn't do anything. Select. Um, no... Uh, inventory I thought was the Y button, but apparently I have to use my little mouse and click on it. Sounds like you're uh, knocking people out. Kinda, yeah. I thought you pan you uh, you uh, you got a pan sound on the toilet. Oh no. I was like, what the heck? Is that your character? Mm-hmm. Do you have a name? Uh, nope, I'm not really sure what his name is. Let's see if he can. I don't think you should wake up the dead. I no, hope you don't plan on doing that. No, I'm trying to avoid him. It's kind of hard, though, because they're all over the freaking place. What do you mean, dead people or zombies mm. or what? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got four experience. He didn't really drop anything. They rarely drop stuff. They ever drop money? Um, not yet. They might, but I haven't seen them drop any money yet. Cool, I got killing zombies or dead people. Yeah, well, undead, but yeah. Kind of like the walk. Kind of like oh, uh, you have to kill people on the Walking Dead and the the uh, zombies. Kind of yeah. People. So the B button picks up and then the left button, or I'm sorry. No, it doesn't look like, I'm not really sure how to put it in my inventory, but since I need some health, I'm going to eat it with the right trigger. You got any guns? Yeah, I'm not sure how to use it, though. Hit the uh, B. I wonder if you could actually take like, a, like an, an undead person out with like a baseball bat. I haven't found any, I'm not sure. Anyways, if you hit the, um, the B button to pick it up and then right trigger to use it. And what button it, is, is the punch? Right trigger. Uh, I'm not really sure what this is. I don't think I can pick it up though, so I'm just gonna leave it. Sorry, you just started. Yeah, I did. I haven't played this before. So you can uh, grant the final five of uh, rest for a little bit, yeah. Yeah, that was like a trash can. <laughs> it is. So dark, it's so dark outside on on your game. Like it looks like it's either morning time or night time. Well, that's the point. It's actually nighttime right now. 
Do we start morning time? Positive. It's way too dark to be morning. Plus, morning already ended. Hit the A button to jump. And again, you can hit the left joystick to crouch if you want to sneak around without being noticed. Or not easily noticed, anyway. Okay, here is a hockey stick. We're going to hit F, also known as B, to pick it up. And so now we have a weapon, one that I've figured out how to equip, because the original Colt one I couldn't figure it out. We're going to pick up some grape juice, we're going to pick up some lettuce, what else do we have here? Pick up some eggs, looks like some very useful items in these houses. I hope I didn't attract any zombies. I just hit this, uh, what's it called? Oh look, it's the Canadian flag. Hey Canada. Hey. Huh. No, just kidding. So it looks like the whole front of the house is open to zombie attacks. But the back and the sides are clear at least. I'm not seeing any zombies in the front. Oh, there's one. And there's another one across the street. They kind of blend in, I'm not going to lie. Hit F to pick up Colt Magazine, also known as B on the controller, on the Xbox controller. Or I suppose it would be Circle on a PlayStation controller, depending on how you have it, the layout set up. And these dudes are just chilling, so let's break their slumber. Ah, shit, I was mauled by a zombie. Damn, son, where'd you find this? Okay, let's go back to home. Mm hmm. So, this is about where I started off. Well, actually, no, it's randomized, I forgot. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, yeah, this is where I started. Anyways, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite, sub and share on Facebook and Twitter and as usual put any requests in the description and I'll do my best to fulfill them mm -hmm. no just kidding anyways detective Riley where is this Riley character anyways oh wow there's a what the heck anyways huh enjoy peace <laughs> Look at me with the monocle. Okay, it would seem that it is still <laughs> still recording. And as you can see, it is still, um, <laughs> it is still, um, playing unturned and the profile is still going and I'm pretty sure it's been more than 15 minutes. So with that being said, um, go to preferences. Oh shit. Uh, click. No. Um, we'll go ahead and end this game. Alt F4. And if that doesn't work, we'll hit control shift escape to get to the task manager and do it the old-fashioned way although it's a little bit different with Windows uh, 8.1 or Windows 8 or whatever and if you can't find unturned on here you could either find it under um, well I'm gonna do it the really old-fashioned way which I will show you now if you hit Windows R or also hit the little thing down here and type in CMD 
Make sure it brings up a command prompt as administrator, so you right click, run as admin, and we're going to type in T-A-S-K-K-I-L-L slash F slash I-M, and we're going to type in unturned dot exe, and okay. And it would seem that Unturned is no longer running, which is good news. <laughs> because I was just making sure. Let's go ahead and go to Preferences, and then we'll click OK. Um, and then if, yeah, make sure that this doesn't run at the Windows Startup. And it's all good in the neighborhood. Hit the F4 button, and as you can see, it is still licensed. So we'll click Close. We'll go ahead and close out of this and we are good to grow that's what she said anyways um, I hope you guys like this video don't forget to like comment favorite sub and share on Facebook and Twitter I know I already said that but you know it is what it is right oh and in case you guys are wondering what the hook file is don't delete this D input 8 file or um, the game will no longer work with the uh, um, the thing the pinnacle game profiler and also um, make sure not to allow it to connect to the internet because you don't need the internet for the profile or for the um, or for the game hook so with that being said I'm gonna go ahead and end this video and then if you guys um, yeah and then I, the next video I'm gonna be doing is with Gotham City Imposters with my 360 controller and hopefully that will work laters